Hi. Hey, I'm Stampin' Dee Dee. I'm Deanna Blackman, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I love what I do, and I love making these videos so that you will um, see some of the things that I have learned, and I love sharing that with you. So, um, it's almost December, almost December. So, I'm going to feature today in our Stepped Up Stamping, I'm going to feature the, the Designer Series paper, Oh Holy Night. Love this paper, and I think you'll love it too if you don't already have it. Um, so, if you're a beginner stamper, then this is for you. And if you're a casual stamper, then this is there's something here for you too. And if you're an avid stamper, then there's something here for you too. We're going to cover all three levels. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you're watching this live, thank you so much for being here. And if you're watching it on the replay, thank you. I'd love it if you'd comment and let me know that you watched it. And if you're watching it on YouTube, thank you, thank you. And Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit the bell and you'll know then whenever I post a, a video. So I'll be doing every Thursday in December and next Thursday I'm going to demonstrate two um, gift card holders, two Christmas gift card holders. So you'll want to see that. It's not too late to make your gift card holders. So, um, be sure and tune in for that next Thursday morning at 10 o'clock. So, let's get right to our stepped-up stamping. So, I'm going to have to move my phone to the stand, and that's always kind of tricky. So, hold on. Straighten this up a little bit. There we go. All right. So, here is, well, let's see. This is one of the pieces of designer series paper that we're going to use. And let me get out the other one. I'm running out of my paper. <laughs> um, let me look. Oh, I hope I still have some of that one left. I may not because I used it for this card. Let's see. Well, I'm not seeing it. It's the piece that has the um, stars at the top. It's like this one. It has the stars at the top and the um, sand at the bottom. So there's that one, and there's this one. And we're going to use both of these today. All right. And this is from the Oh Holy Night Designer Series paper. And it, um, it may be on the um, last chance. I need to check. It may be sold out. I think I heard that it was sold out. But, you know, there's so many pretty um, designer series papers out there. So many pretty Christmas papers. And so many of the scenery papers. And you can, you can do them the same way. I'm going to turn my speaker off. I'm not sure if it's. All right, it's off now. All right, so let's get started. Let me show you first. Hold on, I'm getting myself together here. All right, let me show you the, the basic card first. So with this basic card, I just used Crumb Cake Card Base. 
let me make sure that we're moving along here. Hmm. All right. I need to refresh. Okay. Gotcha. I think we're done now. All right. So this is the basic card. I used a crumb cake card base. Simple. Your basic size. Um, eight and a half by five and a half. Scored at four and a quarter. And I used a piece of that designer series paper that I was trying to show you, but <laughs> I've used it all. So this is it. Um, and I cut it down to five and a quarter by four. And then all I did was I did have a couple of star dies. And if you have a star punch, you could use that. But I, I punched out. A couple of stars and put a dimensional behind them and hopefully at this point you have dimensionals so um, this basically just uses the crumb cake card base a piece of the designer series paper some white card stock where I cut the stars and then the stamp set night divine now, this is the stamp set. This comes in a bundle. So, it's a stamp set and a, um, a die set. And I'll show you the die set in a minute. But um, the stamp set has these awesome Christmas sentiments on it. And that's why I got this. So, I'm using the Oh Holy Night. And I stamped it in the center in black. And that is it. That is it. And even though this is a very basic card, I think it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And it even has some dimension because um, you popped up the stars just a little bit. All right. So that's our basic card. And then I stepped it up just a little bit by adding a mat, a black mat behind my designer series paper. So now the black mat is four by five and a quarter and your designer series paper, you have to cut down just a little bit to three and three fourths. Um, no, this is four, four by five and a quarter and now this is three and three fourths by five. So you just cut it down a little bit each time and I used a little bit of linen thread and wrapped the linen thread around the um, designer series paper. And I just taped it in the back. And then I, I tied a bow, a, a double bow. And you tie, let me grab, yeah, here it is. So let me show you about a double bow. Now there, there, in fact, I did a video early on <laughs> about tying a double bow and it was a really good video, but this is an easier way to tie a double bow. So let me straighten some string here. Straighten the twine. So it takes about seven to eight inches to do a bow. And so all I did was doubled it. Snip it. And now I'm just going to take this and tie a bow, just like we normally do. Loop it around. Let me go ahead so this doesn't confuse you. All right. Now we've just got two pieces of seven to eight inch string. So I'm just going to make a loop Take this around it and pull it through and then come down. Oops, I messed up. Let's try again, make a loop. Get it off my finger. Now the long piece, bring it around and pull it through. And then I grab the ends and tighten my bow. So, tighten it 
to the size that you want it and separate these a little bit and you have a lovely double bow. All right? So we'll set that aside. So I did the double bow. I, I wrapped it twice and then put the double bow on it. I did the same thing with stars. I put a dimensional underneath and, ta and stamped Oh Holy Night. So that's all I did extra. And yet we have a stepped up from our basic card to our casual card. We have, a, we have some stepped up stamping. Now, for our Avid, I'm going to add, I'm going to do the crumb cake card base. I've got my two stars. I'm still going to do my black mat and my um, designer series paper. But what I want to do is add another dimension from the other piece of designer series paper. And I showed you this piece a minute ago. And this is the piece that I want to use on the front of this card. And what I want to do is just use, I don't want that tallest building, I don't think. So I'm just gonna, from right here, I'm gonna add a little bit of background. So I'm going to fussy cut this and it's gonna be really easy to fussy cut it because it's just straight lines. But this is going to give an added dimension to the background. This um, setting of Bethlehem in the background. So I think I just want to go to right there. Let's see. Because I want to leave room to stamp the O Holy Night. So I'm, I'm going to take it a little bit further. I'm go ahead and cut this tall building out, and I may not use it. But all right, I'm put my paper away. I've still got plenty left on this paper to. Um, do another one. All right, let's see. And I think I still have room for my Oh Holy Night. If I come this way a little bit, I can put it right there. I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Trying to decide where it'll look best. Because it's got the, the um, sand and some grass. All right. I think I'm going to have to stop it right about here. <laughs> yep. All right. So I'm going to get my stamp and seal. I need a this on here and it's in the background so 
I'm not going to pop it up because I'm going to do something else popped up. All right. Let's see where I want to put this. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to bring it down a little bit so I have room for my Oh Holy Night. <clears throat> and I do. And it's going to go right here. Right there. It's just a little bit of a background. And then I can take my two stars And I'm going to use a mini dimensional on the back of them. And I'm going to use my take a pick tool because I don't have long fingernails. So I have trouble getting them off if I don't um, use my take a pick tool. So I hope if you're watching live, I hope you'll comment. Let me know that you're there. Let me see. Let me look. Um, I'm going to come down a little bit. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm not... I'm looking for how to get it back down. There. All right. No, that didn't do it either. So, I'm not seeing my comments. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to put this star right here, right over that one. And this one... And get that mini dimensional right in the center of the back of this one. And it is going to go right in the center of this. All right. So the other dimension that I wanted to add to this. Now I'm still going to wrap. So let me do that first. To see, I know what I want to do, but I haven't done it yet, so I don't know if it'll all work or not. What I want to do is to add some shepherds in the field. But I'm trying to straighten this first. Let me grab my tape. All right, I just add two little pieces of tape. All right, so I'm going to wrap this right here. I'm going to add my first piece of tape and get that down and then wrap. And I want it to crisscross in the front. So this I'm going to bring up a little bit. Crisscross it in the front. And now I'm going to take this piece down. And snip. All right. And I've already done my bow. We did that a minute ago, right? But I think instead of right here, I'm going to put my bow over here. But I'm going to wait and do it at the end, and I'll show you why. Because I had a shepherd left over from another project, and I have a couple of sheep. And I thought it would really be neat to have these in the background.
What do you think? How does that look? Oh, you know what? I can't do this. <laughs> I have to put Oh Holy Night there. So let's see. Let me go ahead and stamp Oh Holy Night so I have room for it. Now, I could stamp this on another piece of cardstock and cut it out and put it on the front, but I didn't want to cover up any of my seam. So... Stamp my Oh Holy Night right there. Yeah. And you know, I keep a pen like this. This is a Micron. This one's 0.3. Oh, 0.3. And I also keep an... This one's an oh, 0.1. For... Times when I need to add a little bit of, when I need to just touch it up a tiny bit. There. I just needed to fill in that edge where it didn't stamp as well. Now I have to figure out where I'm going to put my other star. I think it's fine to put it right there. And it can be hanging over the top a little bit. All right, and I'm going to put this guy on dimensionals. And I think I'll do two, one on each side of the string to make sure he gets solid. All right. So we're going to put him right here. And then the sheep, I think we'll... Hmm, let me see how it looks on dimensionals. It's in the foreground, so you would want it to stand out a little bit. And I can put that right in between the two pieces of yarn, of twine. And this one can go right down here on top of the twine or overlapping it just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, there. How's that? I wish I could um, get this to where I can, I'm not sure. Let me, let me do this. I'm going to reboot, or not reboot, refresh. I'm trying to get, okay, I see that you are on, but I cannot see any of my comments, which is really weird. Let me see here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I hit something while ago, a, a setting, and um, yeah, anyway, all right, I see that you're on, but I can't see your comments, so thank you for being here, all right, I think now our bow can go right here and I'll use a glue dot because you know this is the Avid card and so as an Avid stamper we will definitely have die cuts and dimensionals and glue dots 
and all that sort of stuff. And I got these. These are die cuts from the Night Divine Bundle. Now, this was the stamp set. But, and I, the Oh Holy Night stamp goes right here. But these are the dies. And this die right here. is what cut out the shepherd and the king. And you can cut them apart. And, of course, the nativity. You can cut them apart. Let me do it this way. Well, it doesn't help a whole lot. But anyway, you can cut them apart and use the pieces. And then I took the sheep die, and I cut a couple of sheep. I actually cut three, but um, we don't have room for the third one. But there's also... A cow and a donkey and a camel. All of these animals. All of these animals. So, and then you've got your stable and your little um, corner decorations right there. It's an awesome set and so flexible. You can use it so many different ways and one of the things i like to do is cut the pieces apart let me see if i've got them in my scrap box here yes i do so here is the whole piece die cut mm, there it is die cut and i don't know if you can see but um, the little embossed area just makes it so much more authentic. And then all I did for this was I came along and cut right here and cut the shepherd off. So that's, and I keep all my little pieces because you never know when you might need to use it. All right, so now I'm ready to take this and put it on my black mat. Okay. Put it on my black mat. glue out a little bit there. Got a little rambunctious with my glue. <laughs> All right. Got that. Put it on my card base. Now, of course, I would come along. I didn't demonstrate that. I would come along and I would put something on the inside. I would put some very vanilla or some white, since we've got the white stars, on the inside and and decorate it just a little bit with a piece of designer series paper or a stamp. And then I would also um, dress up the envelope just a little bit. So there we have it. We have our... Um, Shepherd and the two sheep in the foreground. We have our um, Bethlehem in the background with the stars. And Oh Holy Night, our sentiment. We use the same sentiment throughout. So, and this then would be the added card because we added... Um, a fussy cut piece to it, and we added um, dies, extra dies to it. So it would definitely be our avid. So here we go from basic, which in itself is beautiful. You could also, hmm, you know what? I want to add. I meant to do that. Let me get some gems out. 
I just want to do the rhinestone one. Because stars twinkle, don't they? They do. They twinkle. And so we want to create that on this avid card. I'm just going to use the littlest ones. And I'm going to put one right in the center of each of these. And I'm going to put one in the center of that one. And a couple more on the front. How about one right there? And one more. You want to use an odd number. Maybe right here. Keep them all sort of in a line. So we've got five of them. Now, can you see that? The, the, the sparkle that it adds to it? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, I love that. I love that. So, all right, we have our basic card with just the designer series paper and the card stock and a couple of stars and our stamp. And then we added a base, a mat, to the designer series paper, added some twine, and um, still used our stars for the casual. And then for our avid we added a little bit of background to create a um, Bethlehem in the background scene. We added um, a die-cut shepherd and a couple of sheep to the foreground. And then we added um, rhinestones to our stars. So those are the things. I'm going to trim this just a little bit so it's not hanging over quite so much. We've created three beautiful cards, stepping each one up just a little bit, using the O Holy Night. On the first two, all we used was cardstock and the O Holy Night um, designer series paper. On the third one, whoop, I've got a rhinestone on my finger. On the third one, we added a couple of die cuts and some jewels. All right, and this is the Night Divine bundle with your dies. All right, like I said, this may be, I wish I had checked. We've been out of town and then running like crazy ever since we got home trying to get fall put away and Christmas boxes out and things are partially decorated but there's boxes everywhere and I didn't have time to check to see if this is on the the last chance product list it might be since it was in the mini catalog all right I hope you've enjoyed stepped up stamping and um, next Thursday we'll do gift gift cards um, Christmas gift cards, a gift card holder, and let's see, the week after that, I think we're going to do a couple of Christmas tags that you can use on your gifts, so be sure and tune in and take the time to breathe. You know, I do my breathing when I come in here into my studio. That's where I get away from everything. I just leave some of the decorating for later and come in here and breathe and create just a little bit. So do that. Enjoy your days leading up to Oh Holy Night. God bless you. Thank you for watching. If you're watching, um, if you're watching the replay or on YouTube, thank you so much for doing that. And if you're watching live, um, I, I don't know who's watching live because I can't see it. I don't know what happened. I got out of that window and into a window that 
um, shows what I'm demonstrating, but doesn't show me the comment. So thank you for watching. Tay, I know that you're watching and I appreciate it so much. All right. Blessings. Bye-bye.